had all the money I wanted. I had two new Mercedes. I had this house. I had everything I wanted, man. I had a trillion women if I wanted to call a woman. Oh, yeah. Bring, bling. Hey, Harvey. Hey, Harvey. It's Ike. Can you tell your wife, Murray Lee, to get over here? It's her turn. <laughs> Bugs. Hello there, Bellas. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share the Facebook, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com for these Priscilla frames. And if you are not already a part of this book club, please hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube and for a small monthly fee of five dollars you babies yes you can be privy to all the shenanigans before the youtube gets it if the youtube gets it now let's continue talking about child let me say the whole book name this time the confessions of ike turner taking back my name ike turner ike had not been totally deserted and thomas stuck by him he had the money to buy cocaine, which attracted girls, and there were other women in his life, too. Yet at his lowest ebb, this was scant consolation. I am in a bathroom. Ain't no TV on. I bought this house for over a quarter million dollars, and here, here I was, sitting in it alone. I was totally, spiritually drained. It was like I was in the dark, like, what the fuck am I living for? What am I going through all this for? All these depressions and shiz. I was just sitting there in that room, man, on the side of the bed. I was so down, just tired. And I kept on telling people I was tired. But I didn't know what I was tired of. Pause. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have a family member or a loved one that tells you tired, if they say, I'm tired, I want you to pay attention to that. I wasn't tired like I couldn't get up and play the piano or go chop wood. It's like everybody was draining off me. It's everybody but yourself. It's Ike Turner loves everybody, but who loves Ike Turner? Now, I ain't trying to take up for the bastard, okay? Because we know that he was wholeheartedly one of the biggest bees in the world. I'm just saying that just as a human being, pay attention when a person says that they're tired. I lived a very hard, fast life full of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. And he should be tired. I don't know where Ann Thomas was. I was going with two other girls, Nanya and Murray Lee. Now, if you fucking rack of Now, okay, I come on. How you not? Okay, hold, 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 pause. Okay? So, you just lost Tina. You're hitting the pipe. You got Ann Thomas, supposedly the love of your life, and two other girls? Ninja. You should be tired. I don't know where Ann Thomas was. I was going with two other girls, Nanya and Murray Lee. Mary Lee was a big singer around St. Louis in those days. And Nanya was just a very pretty girl from Ethiopia. Those girls weren't with me that night. Nanya was in the house, but over the other side where she was living and Mary Lee was at home. It was around 1.30 in the morning. I had a 57 Magnum pistol. All at once, man, as I sat on the side of the bed, I reached down and got this gun and put it in my mouth. And then I blinked and pulled the trigger. The gun clicked and the hammer hit the bullet and put a dent in it, but it didn't shoot. At that moment, the phone rang. It was one of it the I gets, Marcy Thomas, asking if I was all right. Then Nanya opened the door without knocking. She called me Dracula. Dracula? How fitting. She said, Dracula, you all right? You all right? 
while I was talking to her, I got a beep on the phone and it was Mary Lee. Ike, are you all right? I guess they felt it. Mary Lee and her husband got up and came over to my house in the middle of the night. And Mary Lee said, Ike, God didn't want it to happen. Hold on. Hold on. Mary Lee and her husband do the... What? Hold on. Let's go backwards. Hold the hell on. I was going with two other girls, Nanya and Mary Lee. Mary Lee and her husband got up and came over to my house in the middle of the night. And Mary Lee said, I, God didn't want it to happen. <sighs> okay, better press on. When you get in those kinds of moods, it is very easy to get into that who loves you type of thing. I was 47 years old or something. I done given all my youth to my family and to the whole shiz. How was I going to start over at this late stage in my life? I feel the same way, but baby, all you got to do is do it. This is a message to all my women who feel like they have wasted their life. I feel like at 52 years old, I'm starting all over again with nothing. Okay, and I know you're like, nay, you married, but those of you who know, you guys know. But baby, I mean, what you gonna do? Sit there? Jog in place? No, you gotta move forward, baby. You got to move. You can't sit there and wallow in your pain. How was I gonna start over at this late stage in my life? You got to go. You gotta move. With my investments, it wasn't as if I was worried about money. I had all the money. I wanted. I had two new Mercedes. I had this house. I had everything I wanted, man. I had a trillion women if I wanted to call a woman. Oh, yeah. Bring, bling. Hey, Harvey. Hey, Harvey. It's Ike. Can you tell your wife, Mary Lee, to get over here? It's her turn. What most people kill themselves over or get worried about. I got all of that. But what I don't have, man, is what my mother used to give me. A sense of security. That's not what he said. But you know us people who lost their mother or don't have their mother. Once your mom is gone, you will always feel lost. Like a motherless child. Because when you need answers and you're the answer giver, who do you go to? I was in a place where he can't trust nobody. Because the people who were surrounding him, who was saying, I love you, Ike, I love you, Ike, now think he's broke. And they can't be bothered with him no more. Or they don't want to be bothered with him no more because he's broke. He's alone. He is truly alone. And you know what's sad? Out of the trillion bitches, I bet you percent of them probably really do love him. You know? It's just that... He don't know how to accept love. When somebody wanted to beat me up, I would make it to my mother and she put her arms around me and protect me. I don't have that. People get security mixed up with wealth. I got wealth, but I'm not, not secure at all. I don't feel protected. When you get that way, man, it's a bad state of mind. Word. Ike acknowledges that what he should have done as he planned 16 years earlier in St. Louis was to find another Tina and go on. He had two good candidates. Y'all pay attention to the candidates, okay? Hold on, pause, hold it, wait a minute, wait the fucking minute. Shut, okay. In the 1970s, after Tina and I broke up, I could have asked Shaka Khan or... Natalie Cole. Did Rufus know this? Now see, this is what makes me mad about this book. T. Do more talking about the hoes he was hunching on than breaking down his relationship with Shaka Khan and Natalie Cole. Why you didn't break that down, Ike? Because you know they said that Shaka Khan was 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 and was, was super enamored with Ickety Ikety. She wanted some of that Ike Turner, and that's why. I'm mad at this book. He spent too much time talking about his hoeing. Shit. And not about his music. Somebody in the comments wrote that. that he spent way too much time talking about the bullshit 
instead of the music and his relationships with other stars and things that matter not the bullshit they would have helped me they would have done anything for me on the friendship side shaka can sing her ass off she can beat tina 10 to 1 as far as singing is concerned but she is not a performer Ooh, do y'all agree with that i might agree with that y'all oh i might agree with that oh my god shaka can shaka can blow yeah shaka can blow 10 times better than Tina but ooh she will stand there and wiggle ooh. what you gonna do for me instead of doing that man I got real insecure I got afraid of rejection thinking that the public wouldn't accept me and I just started procrastinating and philosophizing and staying in the studio you see I built that career standing in the background I built something I knew the public wanted to see I was totally confident that they were going to like my show. I made Tina and them perfect. I knew it was something the public wanted. If I called a promoter and asked him about playing a date, he wasn't going to tell me. No, Ike, not right now, maybe later. They wanted the Ike Turner review. They wanted Ike and Tina. We had that damn, we had that demand. It was okay. I knew I was wanted. Without the review, I lost all confidence. Maybe I don't look shy, but I am. Just in the last year, I got so I would talk to girls. Before, if you introduced me to someone, then I'd get to know her. But as for going up to a girl and asking her to dance, I would never do that in my life. Because if she told me no, I would go through the whole I am totally afraid of rejection. I hadn't thought about doing nothing. Definitely not playing no music scared me to death. I just went into a 15 year party. Ike married his great and enduring love, Ann Thomas in Las Vegas on April 11th, 1981. For a while, life was peaceful. The trouble started when Ike was involved in a shooting incident. Ike Turner shot the paper boy for hitting a dog with a newspaper. Oh, you say that you know me. 